Hello guys and welcome to a new video. I'm Max from SketchUp TV and we are creating an icon today in Sketch. We didn't do this before, so this will be uh, the first tutorial about creating an icon in Sketch and I thought why not just going to search for some inspiration and I found an icon that's pretty easy I guess to uh, create. So we will just uh, recreate this one and of course the link to this will be also down in the description for you to download. Okay, so let's just open up Sketch and just create a new artboard, choose any size you like and then we are able to just draw a circle like this. And we can place it right in the middle. I get rid of the borders and then I just add some filling right here. And what we do now is to search for a dark blue like this and the bottom part of it will be also blue but it will be a lighter blue maybe like this just look for a nice color that suits your um, wishes okay so the next thing that we want to do is to um, add these two um, sides right here and it's just easy to create them. You just hit R to create a new rectangle and you do for example some rectangle like this and now we can also rotate this by clicking rotate or you can also transform it right here and uh, just select the degree you want. Then you just say you want this background right here as a mask and then you see that we just get a little overlay um, right here. So this one will also get a gradient gradient this time will be a light blue oops light bluish color like this or maybe we just go for a normal color no gradient like that and I would like to add a white border inside but that is not really 100% visible maybe like this we can also do it for two pixels like that okay and we of course have another one so I copy it and I choose the lower one and we just transform it in, uh, in the different um, rotation like this and we see that the first or the top one has a, li a slight um, shadow right here and on, on this whole line so we just add a shadow and change the different values so it really fits our needs like that and now let's just uh, reduce the opacity Like that. Okay. 
you see right here and our result right here and yeah this one has also um, a, a slight line right here a border and it's a bit darker so we click this this one and look for a darker color like this and we also see that it has a really slight shadow so as well as the first one we also add a shadow right here and then we just change the y value to some just yes yeah, so we just test it out how it looks like like this and maybe we can also change the artboard background color to a gray and the mask or our background to uh, add a shadow to the background so you see that this one also has a slight shadow right here and we can of course add this shadow as well like that okay so we now have the base and we go are going to add some details now which will be this mail sheet and of course this check mark so we hit U to create the rectangle drag it below the other rectangles and we can change the color to white and the radius to maybe this size okay now it's positioned it can also change the size of it right here I think that looks pretty good already and now we have to add a check mark and for the check mark we are going to open the material design icons the link is also down in the description as always so be sure to check out the description of course also for the download links and so on and we have a check mark right here which we will just use which is just okay for our case Maybe it's not really thick enough, but we will just try out and do our best with it. Okay, there we have it. And we just drag it to our sheet. Okay. So then we see that it has a slight gradient. So we have a dark blue here and a lighter blue here. So let's just recreate that. Choose the color you like, you think it's the, which is the best. Maybe like this. And then, so we have the sign right here, but I would like to. Um, I would just like to add this long shadow to it which you also see right here and that's also pretty easy we just go for the rectangle tool which you know about as well, uh, already and we just drag it below um, just drag everything below our uh, layers right here and then I just name this shadow we should rotate the shadow layer. Okay, so just rotate the shadow layer so it matches um, our existing. I see Sketch has some problems when I zoom in. And very interesting, you see nothing right here. <laughs> 
not a bug of the video, just a bug of Sketch, but anyway, Sketch is just an amazing program, and I think we can work with that. But I can't see any changes right now, which are quite annoying. Not sure why. That, oh, <laughs> it's not a problem of Sketch, it was a problem because I was selecting the name. Sorry about that. And now let's just change uh, the size of our rectangle. Like that. And then we just go for a black filling, but of course it should be really just with maybe one or two percent, five percent opacity. Just tr try to get a nice shadow effect with that. We can also try it with a gradient by choosing some different options. So we will go for a lighter color at the top and a darker color at the bottom. Okay, and now we should just try to get a nice little gradient effect. I think I like the normal standard color more so we are going to do that and there we have it so just make sure that we check this uh, last time I see a little line in the background which is probably for this um, letter layer right here to just close it and of course we will also add this line by hitting L and then we are just able to to uh, just place the line in our artboard and what I see now is some pixel perfect stuff that we just don't have um, the right positions for both of these layers because you can see this hor horizontal line right here is uh, crossing this corner and this corner so we have to reposition this layer and we try our best to just make it look good like that okay I think this one can could need a bit darker color And this one as well to make it more popping more uh, vibrant colors of course and this one right here needs a dark blue color so our line needs a dark blue color to really show off that is that is a nice line right there okay let's just check if there is anything else that we need to consider when comparing these so we have them here side by side and of course our check mark is a bit thinner than this one but in total I would say that this was a pretty nice job, so recreating the icon. And of course, you will be able to download this icon uh, in your, to your um, sketch program to just edit it or, or to just try out to do the same. And of course, the link to this one will also be down in the description because it's an icon to replace um, 
the icon for Boxy. Okay, Boxy is an inbox client for Gmail and I guess it's quite nice. So be sure to check this out, out as well. And of course, as always, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, just leave a subscribe here or a thumb up button if you like this tutorial. And of course, thanks for your time and enjoy your day. See you!